This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this video, we're going to look at events which are fired when the page or resources on the page are loaded. So first, let's open the page we can work on. And you'll find this in Working Files, the Chapter 6 folder, and it's named 0602example.html. If you can open this in your browser, start Firebug or your other development console, and open the Console tab. You'll also need to open the file in your text editor. Now it's really important to know when the page is loaded. Since when the whole of the HTML document is available, we know that we can examine and manipulate the DOM. Now since we're putting our scripts at the bottom of every page, we already know that the DOM is loaded anyway. However, sometimes it's necessary to put your scripts elsewhere. And it's always good practice to detect when the DOM is available before you try to use it. So anyway, to detect when the DOM is fully loaded, we pass a function to jQuery. This says, once the DOM is available, run the function named setup. Now note that you shouldn't specify parenthesis or any arguments within brackets. This is because setup here is a reference to a setup function. If you put brackets on the end of it, the function would run immediately. So let's create our setup function now. And all we'll do is output a message to the console. And we'll save and run that file. And there we are. We now know that the DOM is ready for us to use. Now it's important to note that our setup function is run when the DOM's available, but that doesn't necessarily include images or other resources. If you have a few dozen images on your page, they could actually take far longer to load. However, jQuery also allows us to detect when an image or any other resource is available. And to do that, we use the load method. So let's detect when this image is loaded. If you have a look up here, you'll notice our image as an ID of globe. So let's use a selector to reference that ID, run the load method, and then run a function which will output to the console. Close that function and close the load method, save the file. So when we refresh, now it says the globe image is loaded and the DOM is ready. Now in this case, the globe has loaded first, just because this is running locally, so the browser can download it very quickly and it happens before the DOM is ready. But if we were looking at a page on the internet, these two events may be fired the other way around.